Hello everyone, my name is Quan Ling Li. Today I'm going to talk about uh, NASA STTR Phase 2 program, Hard Reservoir VCHP with Advanced Fluid Management. The topic author include me, Clean, and Bill Anderson from ACT. In addition to that, we uh, also collaborate with Case Western Reserve University under this STTR program. In order to handle um, big temperature swing uh, on the moon surface, um, there's a need to develop a variable thermal link with a high turndown ratio connecting between the payload and the radiator. During the lunar date, um, you want this uh, thermal link to be as effective as possible so that the radiator panels can be uh, minimized. Um, but during the Luna 9, the thermal resistance for this uh, thermal link must be as high as possible so that the payload temperature can be maintained using the minimum survival power. One of the technology being considered here is the hot reservoir VCHP. A standard uh, VCHP with a cold bias reservoir shown in this figure um, has a, a reservoir connected at the end of condenser. And typically, if you want to maintain the evaporated temperature uh, within one or two degree, um, you will need to provide uh, one or two watt of electrical power. Uh, for 14 days of lunar night, um, one watt of electricity um, equal to around 5 kg of mass penalty to the systems. On the other hand, the hot reservoir VCHP uh, shown in the left hand side schematic um, has a reservoir um, located near the evaporator and its temperature follows the payload temperature instead of the sink temperature. Uh, with this configuration, um, this can provide much, much tighter thermal control capability than the conventional cold bias reservoir VCHP, and um, it can minimize or even uh, eliminate the need of survival power to keep the uh, reservoir warm during the 40 day of Luna 9, so they can save significant amount of, uh, uh, of mass for the systems. The figure on the right is the uh, ground testing data shows the tightness of the uh, warm reservoir VCHP uh, tested um, in ACT. However, uh, there is a fluid management challenge associated with uh, hot reservoir VCHP. It was identified in 2017 uh, during the ISS test of the hot reservoir VCHP as a part of APTX experiment. Um, the uh, working fluid uh, actually accidentally uh, enters the reservoir and push out all the non-condensable gas to the heat pipe section. Um, and uh, at that uh, period, we start purging the VCHP. Uh, this is a process to remove uh, excessive moisture from the reservoir. And uh, we hope that the NCG will flow back to the uh, reservoir through diffusion, and this is a really long, lengthy process. Um, um, so we identify this is the uh, biggest challenge for the hot reservoir VCHP for future space application. It is important to develop uh, advanced fluid management features to either prevent working fluid entering the reservoir during uh, microgravity operation and uh, remove any excessive walking fluid or moisture from the reservoir effectively and efficiently. So that is the objective of this SCTR program. During the phase one, we develop a concept showing on the left hand side is the loop configuration. Uh, with this loop configuration, the momentum of the primary vapor flow can be used to induce a secondary flow circulating along the loop, this secondary flow is able to um, remove any moisture, uh, excessive moisture in the reservoir 
without using uh, additional um, electricity. And um, this process is much, much faster than the diffusion-based um, purging process. Figure on the right is the proof of concept prototype tested in phase one. And uh, through this testing, we, uh, we confirm the existence of momentum-induced flow in, uh, in this loop configuration. So parts of the phase two program is to develop a numerical model to uh, study the momentum-induced flow in a loop configuration, VCHP. And this is a calculation domain um, uh, of the CFD model uh, developed by uh, Case Western Reserve University. Um, the governing equations and the algorithm were actually um, detailed in this uh, general publications. Um, the output for their simulation is the pressure, temperature, and concentration distribution in the heat pipe section. And using the pressure field distribution, they can estimate the uh, induced flow uh, velocities through the loop um, using the equation listed in this chart. ACTs uh, perform in parallel, perform the experimental study to um, validate their numerical model. And the, the uh, figure on the left hand side shows the um, uh, test apparatus uh, consisting of two uh, sections, one's heat pipe section and the loop section. You can see that the reservoir is non integrated with the evaporator and uh, to uh, measure the flow, uh, induced flow velocity, uh, we use a flow meter uh, uh, in connected in the uh, loop section. Um, the uh, heat pipe, the internal NCG tube uh, is swappable in this uh, test apparatus so that we can study uh, different internal uh, tube design and their influence to the momentum induced flow uh, within loop. This chart here shows two different uh, NCG tube design tested by this apparatus. Um, the uh, design number one um, shown on top uh, has a two section. Uh, one is a quarter inch tubing and one eighth tubing. Um, the major difference between design number one and design number two is the length of the um, one eighth uh, section. Um, design number one, the exit of uh, NCG tube is in the condenser, and design number two, the axis in the uh, diabetic section. Here is the uh, test data for the loop VCHP using the NCG tube design number one. Figure on the left is the pressure and temperature um, variation, and the right hand side figure is the corresponding. Uh, flow meter output. Um, the black line on the right hand side figure is the flow velocity converted from the uh, voltage. Um, in this test, we apply initially apply 150 watts of heat to the heat pipe section, and the corresponding uh, flow velocity being measured is about 0.22 centimeter per second. And uh, when we reduce the power from 150 to uh, 1.105 watts, the flow velocity actually increased um, from 0.22 to 0.3 centimeter per second. And uh, in this test, it's a is, uh, is, uh, loop VCHP using the uh, internal NCG tube number two. Uh, remember, this uh, NCG tube is shorter and the outlet of tube is in the adiabatic sections. Again, uh, we apply power from 50 watts to 140 watts. Um, you can see from the right hand side, the uh, induced flow velocity actually higher than the design number one. Uh, with 140 watts of heat input, uh, we can get around 0.5 centimeter per second of flow velocity. Um, and this chart shows the comparison between experimental data and the numerical model uh, result, modeling results from uh, Case Western Reserve University. 
the black dot is uh, test data and the um, white dot are the CFD analysis results. Um, you can see um, they basically match and uh, by this experimental and numerical study, we double confirm the existence of momentum induced flow uh, within a loop VCHP and uh, the internal NCG tube design is very important, has a very important um, influence to the flow generation. We also find that uh, keeping the NCG tube outlet away from the condenser actually help to uh, generate more flow um, in loop. This can be explained by the voltex generation behind the NCG tube. Uh, as the schematic shows in the left hand side, uh, when there's a flow, um, vapor flow going through the outlet of uh, internal NCG tube uh, because of the expansion of the uh, flow area as well as a vapor concentration uh, condensation, the uh, vapor flow um, will decelerate and uh, generate uh, a voltex at the outlet of NCG tube. That voltex um, will actually discourage the development of momentum induced flow. So when we um, keep the outlet away from the condenser, the uh, deceleration of uh, vapor flow will be uh, milder and that will be helpful to uh, reduce the size of the voltage. Uh, right hand side figure is the uh, CFD analysis, uh, uh, the flow contour uh, calculated by uh, Case Western Reserve University. The string line also shows there will be a, a, a back voltage generated at the outlet of NCG tube. So um, this is STR program uh, phase two. We are still trying to develop uh, different NCG tube configuration that can uh, maximize the momentum induced flow. And uh, through this experimental and CFD analysis so far, we confirmed that the momentum induced flow can be generated within the loop VCHP. And uh, we also found that uh, NCG tube design, location, and the geometry uh, is very important to the flow generation. Uh, with 0.5 centimeter uh, per second of flow uh, velocity, we found um, through theoretical analysis that um, the purging rate can be uh, significantly improve and uh, which shown on the right hand side compared with diffusion base the purging times can be uh, like a hundred times or two hundred times faster. The current state of this program is we are uh, developing uh, integrated reservoir version and study the relationship between purging and uh, momentum induced flow. Finally, I'd like to thank um, uh, Marshall, NASA Marshall Space Flight Center for their uh, funding support through Phase 1 and Phase 2 STR program. We'd like to thank Program Manager uh, Jeff Farmer and Brian O'Connor for their uh, input to the program. Uh, we also like to appreciate the technicians of ACT, uh, Phil Texter and Chris Jamoski and uh, for the collaborator, Case Western Reserve University, uh, Professor Chirak Karange, Professor Yasuhiro Kamatani, and a grad student, Cho Ning Huang, for their uh, numerical anal analysis support for um, this program. And I would like to thank for your attention. And uh, if you have any question, please feel free to uh, ask. Thank you.